What is going on everybody? It's 4 Eyes Malone. We're looking at the new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer that's about to drop. Hopefully it's about to put up on the uh, get put up on the channel. They just announced this for coming out yesterday, so looking to see if it's out. Oh man, here we go. It is out officially. Here we go. Okay. Got the two different schools, it looks like. Mmm. <clears throat> different professors per game. Not the pretty boy. Wow, that seemed like the graphics are like the graphic style and the the mod the character modeling seems way more realistic. Oh wow. say realistic but they seem okay fleshling marie mm, new grass type oh that's a weird little pig lechonk lechonk Regional Chudo look like? Oh wow, Pokemon Center is just like a little station. Oh, trades in the uh, overworld? Venonat, Colossal, Toxify, okay. Of course, Pikachu. Uh oh. About to see Legendary, maybe? Oh. Oh, shoot. Wow, it's like a tire, it's like a jet. Oh, wow. Those look crazy. Huh. I like both of those designs a lot. November 18th. Let's go. Oh, snap. That was interesting, Ender. Okay, so. Start off with the trainer. So yeah, Pokemon Centers, at least from it, what it looks like, they're not actual closed in buildings anymore. A little technical issue. Um, so it looks like the, yeah, the Pokemon Centers now are just like little stations, like gas stations look. We got the those symbols again we saw in the initial trailer. Okay, so now we get two different professors depending on uh, the game, Scarlet and Violet. So you get the woman and on Scarlet, the man on Violet. Both pretty uh, good looking uh, professors. Dude got the cool beard. I mean, what was his name? Turo. So you got Professor Turo. You got Professor Sada. And you get the three starters again. Showing them in their funness. Are these the three trainers? So is that your rival, I guess? Nomona? So I guess Nimona is your rival. I wonder 
if she's the rival in both games, be a female rival. And yeah, the graphics just seem uh, like it's real. It's more realistic for Pokemon, I guess you should say. And this little electric dog, or so that might be the first, huh? So I wonder what if they're gonna have a normal type like usual. Okay, so yeah, they did say there's three trainers. Okay. Let's go back here. Okay, so you get to choose one and then you you see the other kind of like the old anime where you get to there's other people you know that start out with you or right before you. So you're going to get a three other trainers that are going to be starting on the journey at the same time as you at what it looks like. And one of them gets to have <coughs> Pikachu. Huh. Or is this saying that you can start with your play with your friends? I don't hmm. Like is there some kind of co-op situation? Okay, then we see the new little grass little bud situation here. Kinda similar, it's like a Badoo. And the graphics look so much better than from the initial trailer. This little, uh, with LeChonk, little... And you get Quaxley, so LeChonk, uh... Don't see what type it is. I would assume it, I mean, in my head it's like a... I wonder if it's gonna be ground poison, maybe, or... That'd be interesting. And this Choodle, it, it definitely looks like a regional Choodle, unless the color, unless I'm tripping about the color, that looks like a regional Choodle for this region. And now I'm trying to think, do even, I forget what the region's name is. And yeah, so we see a trade in the overworld, so this is leading me to think that It, it seems like you're gonna be able to play, hey, have like almost a destiny-like world where you're gonna have other people playing in your space as if it's like the wild area, but it's all the time. Like this is what this is telling me. You see the Lavatar and the uh, Bagon getting traded. We get Venonat, Colossals in this cave, so. You would assume this is a later stage area if you're seeing Colossals. Freaking, uh, I can't remember those two's name and I love, and I like both of them. The, uh, I forget how to. Uh oh. Wrong button. I want to say Toxic Spike and then, uh, God, I can't remember the name of the Snowflake. Gengar. Blue. Okay, so we saw a few little areas there. And we, but we haven't seen about gems yet. Saw Talent Flame, and this looks like it could be a gym outside, maybe. Um, what type it is, maybe grass type gym. And yeah, you assume that's like a fire type gym, maybe, with the flags. And here is like an outside situation. So yeah, you see, you see this towel. Okay, so you would assume that maybe the because maybe if this is like a wild area situation that 
there's not going to be inside gyms just like the the Pokemon Center is in like a closed building all the gyms could be like an outside arena it's so like maybe the ground gym here ground and rock grass and then fire here and they have their like different little symbols Huh. And then we're going back to the the reveal of the two legendaries. These just look awesome. I would assume fire and then once poison, I would assume fire dragon, poison dragon maybe. So we get the November 18th release, pre-orders are up for digital. Oh, and you know you notice the uh, little symbols on the box art which the symbols are a little different for each so this one is the legendary here for that game and then the violet legendary symbols here the box art looks better than it has been in a while but that wish they would get a little more creative with the box arts but they're always a little you know kind of simple so yeah this is pretty uh this is pretty good stuff. I mean, I, a three-minute trailer. We got a release date. We get the we got the legendaries. We got to see a good amount of new Pokemon, a lot of returning Pokemon. It's gonna be curious to see what the um, count is for new Pokemon in general. Um, that's always some since we're on Generation Nine now. We haven't really had a crazy amount of new Pokemon in one game in a while. Um, you would hope for at least 75 new Pokemon, but it's going to be interesting to see how they work this out. And I'm really curious with this, I mean, my theory looking at it, that it's like everything's like a wild area. Kind of you know, what they've built off of since... Pokemon Sword and Shield and even with Pokemon Legends Arceus where the open world is you know it's a it's more of an open world going on so yeah I think uh give it like a one more little run through They having specific professors is pretty cool. I'm curious how much that's going to change people's buying uh, habits on which game they're going to get. Cause I'm, I'm not really sure which version I would play first. I mean, I'm kind of thinking I want to get both games again for once. I haven't got both at the same time in a while. Okay, and you know what? Because I don't pay attention. I'm glad you got, I'm glad I, uh, I didn't pay attention to what he said because, wow, okay. If you connect with friends, you can head out on adventures together up to four of you at a time. Okay, so I'm just slow. I'm just slow. Wow, okay. So that's pretty, that's pretty big. Okay. I just didn't even, because usually NPCs, I'm not even thinking like he was going to say anything important. I was just, I didn't even think about that. That's, that's pretty nice. Okay, so that's like, that's a game changer. So it's not the wild area necessarily, but four player co-op. Me not reading what he said at the beginning is my stupid fault.
So yeah, if you like the uh, video, I know I just made a, a big mistake and not paying attention to a key part of the information, but like and subscribe to the channel. We're going to have more Pokemon stuff. Looking to have more Monster Hunter stuff as well. This is 4 Oz Malone. Let me know how you, what you think about the trailer. Are you more excited? I'm definitely more excited for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Hit like on the video. Subscribe, all that good stuff, like I said. 4 Oz Malone, peace.